Hello students, today we're taking a look at these stationary sanding machines. These machines are great for sanding inside and outside curves. This is an internal curve and this is an external curve. We have several different types of stationary sanders here at school, but there's pretty much three types. Disc sander, belt sander, or the spindle sander. The belt should always be in good repair and tracking in the center of the drum. If a belt gets a tear in it or starts to shift too far from one side to the other, we need to stop and adjust it. You can see how the belts can dig into the machine. Small pieces need to be held in a clamp or a fixture. We don't want our fingers getting close to the abrasives. Always support your work on the table when using the sanders. To prevent burning, always move the wood back and forth sliding along the table. Don't use the sander to remove large amounts of material. Take it to the bandsaw, cut your rough shape, and then use the sander to smooth it up. So here I have the front to one of our middle school projects. It was cut out on the bandsaw. The blade is not very sharp. It, it did a little bit of burning. And so I want to clean this up. These flat areas and the external curves, I'm going to sand using the strip sander over here. The interior curves, I'm going to sand using the spindle sander. Many of the sanders have two stations operated by the same switch, so do be careful that parts will be moving in two different places at the same time. Before I leave the sander, I always check to see if I've removed the saw marks. Sometimes the sander does leave little scratches, depending on how rough the sandpaper is. The spindle sander moves up and down while it spins. This helps to cool the abrasive paper so it's not rubbing at the exact same spot the whole time. You can see the difference from the unsanded to the sanded area. The disc sanders usually have the rotation direction marked on them. I also like to write do not sand here on the edge of the disc. The disc is spinning in this direction, so we need to be sanding on this side where the sandpaper is pushing the wood down. On this side, it wants to try and lift the wood up. I use the sanders for smoothing shapes that have been cut, but I don't use it to smooth straight edges usually. That usually results in putting a little too much pressure at one end or the other, and then your piece is no longer straight or square. 